Yo ho ho, what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I've got a pretty awesome rear bath travel trailer for you. This is the 2023 North Trail 25 RBP. The North Trail seem to do really well when I make these videos, so I'm thinking I'm gonna get into more of them. I sold a lot off the front living one, uh, but my contact information is down in the description along with the specifications, things like length, weight, height, tank size, awning size, you know, all that good stuff. And as always, if you guys like RV content, in particular, my RV content, if you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button for me. But let's go ahead and dive right into it. It'll be a pretty quick tour today. But again, it's a 2023 North Trail 25 RBP. And this is definitely a unique floor plan. So right when you walk inside the door, you get this really nice kind of breakfast nook. So, you know, this is going to be predominantly um, a couple's coach. So you get the two chairs right there and a booth, so you have the freedom to have a little bit of buddies over. You get some good storage there underneath. You get the tinted windows, you know, with the nightshade so you can block out the nosy eyes or block out the sun and get your Dracula on. It does open up for a nice breeze. And then across the way, you got this really nice large slide. So really nice slide. And it also has kind of the, you know, that L couch, that kind of elbow configuration there, which doubles up as a bed allows for that extra sleeping, you know, so hopefully you can share that little breakfast nook with somebody. So you got that big open window due to the higher slides. Um, for a travel trailer, the slide height on this is pretty darn good. I'm six feet tall. I'd probably put the slide height somewhere around, I don't know, five, six, five, seven, something like that. Again, tinted blackout window and does it open for a nice breeze. I think even like the backdrop looks really nice. North Trail does a really good job with their design. I really like the look of it. Pretty decent size, like little pantry right here uh, with some little pull-out drawers there underneath. You do get your Everchill oversized refrigerator. This is going to be a 12-volt refrigerator. What's nice about that, a little bit more of a residential finish to it, residential feel, but it can run off things like the solar, the battery, your truck, you know, all that good stuff. So that is pretty nice. Makes it a little bit more versatile. Better than those gas and electric ones in, in form of, you know, like output. Outlet right here. Nice thing about North Trail as well. Solid surface countertops. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. So I like how they butted this up right next to the, you know, to the table. Some more storage. A really nice, clean, crisp looking uh, oven there with the three stove top burners. So you can get all the fixings cooking at once. Enough room to cook up a... Uh, you know, a DiGiorno or maybe some of those tiny little Cornish hens if you're pretty fancy. You got the Furion hood with the fan and the light. So you can turn that on and off. You got your Greystone microwave. Overhead storage all above here in this entire way. Uh, you're also going to see you have storage underneath. You have your single stainless steel undermounted bowl. Plenty of outlets right there and right there if you want to whip up, you know, like a blender. Make some drinks, coffee makers, you know, things of that nature. You got your fuse box right here below. And then you have your Dometic uh, thermostat control right there as well. Another window with a different style blind since it's a little bit smaller. So you got that right there. Swing it into the bedroom. You got your pocket door, an emergency exit. So pull those red tabs, pull, push, and pop. You can get out in a hurry. You have a king size bed, which is nice. And then you have, you know, some room underneath for some stowaway items. And what's interesting, too, about this, um, we mentioned the 12-volt refrigerator, but you also have a 12-volt plug-in right there along with the outlet. So that'll run, again, off the solar, the battery, you know, things like that. A little bit more versatile, a little bit more, you know, use out of the camper. Little night lights, really long, elongated shelving right there, so that way you can put some of those items at night, you know, a couple books, cell phones, you know, whatever, whatever you have. And then up ahead here, really large big storage there up above which is always nice and then if that wasn't enough you get a lot more storage you know right here as well uh, so you have a little hanging closet and another one to match it right here more outlets and a cable hookup so you guys can put up a tv if you would like another little view from right in here if you guys have made it this far, if you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, I would definitely appreciate it. And then this is the rear bath. So I probably should have started with this, but, um, you know, pretty big bath for the size of this travel trailer for sure. 
you get a good size shower and I do like how they use the roller right there for the shower shade instead of one of the cheaper you know kind of plasticky curtains so that's always nice pretty good head height in the shower too you know I'm six feet tall 300 pounds I can fit in this and actually take a real shower so that's always a plus sometimes it's a little bit of a struggle uh, plastic foot flush toilet bowl good floor spacing and then you got your you know your couple sink right here with a ton of countertop space which is nice you have an outlet really large you know storage here in the bathroom which is a little bit unique a little bit rare a window out the back for hopefully for a good little view or at least some fresh air and then this is where you're going to check all your tank levels you also have your lp water heater water pump and electric water heater but you know your battery fresh tank black tank gray tank and your galley you know all in one spot but that about wraps up the inside portion of the tour. Again, this is the 2023 North Trail 25 RBP, uh, their rear bath model. Now I'm gonna take you around the outside and kind of show you where everything is. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot. Right here is where you control your awning. Uh, but then right over here on the side of the dinette, this is gonna be where you control your slide. You also have a cable plug-in, an outlet, and then your IRV Technologies uh, speaker system. So you have your HDMI, your USB, you know, all that good stuff. Zone one and two, that's going to be inside and outside, so you can get some music bumping uh, both in and out. All right, now we're on the outside. So, one more time 2023 North Trail 25 RBP. You got the dual axle sitting on the wide tracks. So, what that's going to be nice is when you're driving down the road, you hit that pothole. It's not going to affect your ride quite as much, a little bit more of a comfortable position just by widening. Uh, that suspension system, you know, just about three or four inches. So that's a big time plus. Really nice size awning. Again, the specifications will be down in the description of this video. You also have two exterior speakers. So those are going to be marine grade outdoor speakers. Fresh water connection. A couple outlets if you want to plug in a TV. Step above entry steps. So those just fold right up into the door. You're also going to notice your door here is going to be on that kind of, uh, what do they call it, a storm door. 25 miles per hour to blow that thing shut, so you're pretty sturdy on that. This is going to be your outdoor kitchen setup, so you're going to have um, your drains and your LP Quick Connect right there, where that little blue tab is. So you got kind of a prepping station with a table, which has some of my, you know, my mic and my bag and all that right there. Another little prepping station outlet and a little cooler that you open up that can fit a 24 pack of apple juice. Absolutely no problem. I also like how the North Trail is using metal slam latch doors. So that is kind of goes into the construction of the North Trail. It's a little bit nicer compared to most of the competition. Most of the competition. All aluminum structure, Asdale sidewalls, you know, really nice. You also have a swing arm grill, uh, bumper grill. Swing arm grill mount. Jeez, oh, Pete, I'm struggling on this one. Spare tire with the bumper. Prepped up for a rear observation camera. So while you're driving down the road, you can, you know, see what's going on behind you along with some distance markers. You can also angle it down at your bumper. And then you have the Lippert on the go ladder system, $280 uh, on the Lippert website. You can buy that. It's a telescoping ladder. So you can get on top of your fully walkable roof, check your seals, Check your slides, make sure there's no debris or anything like that on top of them. Here is going to be your city water connection and your black tank flush. If you're not familiar with the black tank flush, it's basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. You also got a outside shower with hot and cold water access. Cable hookup and you have your 30 amp connection. Power stabilizing jacks on the north trail, so that's where you're going to control that. Uh, extend and retract, really nice and easy. And here's going to be your sewer connection and your waste holding tanks. You'll see that little black insert right there on the slide. That means it's going to be prepped for a slide topper. A slide topper, if you're not familiar on it, it's a bracket that goes up with an awning, prevents anything from falling on top of the slide. You know, whether it's like tree branches, rain, pine needles, you know, nuts from squirrels, anything like that. $700, it's really useful if you find some value in it. That way you don't have to get on top of your roof, check your seals, or check your slides, I'm sorry, rather. Uh, you know, every time to make sure you're not going to get a leak. Usually when people have leaks in the slides, it's because they have a tree branch on there. They're not aware of it. They close it and the tree branch goes right in. You don't know, puts a uh, puncture in the seal. It's going to be your connection for your second gray tank. It also shows off 
the fully heated and enclosed underbelly. Definitely gonna be a better insulated unit than a lot of the travel trailers that even I sell. Magnetic latch on the door, which I enjoy. And then right in here, gives you a good view of that pass-through storage. And you'll see that little black box right there. That's for the tire link system. Uh, so it's completely prepared uh, to put on the tire pressure monitoring system. So you buy that, it's about 350 bucks. Really simple to use. You plug that box in, screw on a couple little, um, I don't know what you wanna call them, little nipples or something, you know, and you're good to go. Power tongue jack, two propane, we're gonna give you a battery. You got the LED lights all up in the front, making this thing look really nice and sharp. And this is the other side of that pass-through storage. And yeah, check that out. Up to 67 and a half cubic feet of space. So that is pretty darn incredible. Definitely not the industry standard. Then right here is gonna be your solar charge controller uh, where you can see you know, what's going on with your solar, what kind of wattage they're getting, you know, all that good stuff. But again, guys, my name was Hunter. This was the 2023 North Trail 25 RBP. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope to see you next time. Have a good night. See ya. Meh, 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 meh.